So I'm about to go for my first collagen induction therapy or microneedling treatment at about face and I'm a little nervous. My skin, this is me, straight out the shower. I haven't even put moisturizer on. Um, the reason I'm having this treatment is I've got a lot of discoloration and redness in my face, which you can see right now. I'm not so worried about wrinkles. Um, and I've also got, I don't think it will show up on camera, but a nasty scar on my chin here. So about to head off for my treatment. Um, I'll do another post when straight after I get home and you can see how my skin looks. Wish me luck. So as promised, here I am. I've just got home after having my first collagen induction therapy treatment. To be honest, I didn't really feel that much. Yes, you feel a little bit in some tender parts, but when you arrive, they give your skin a thorough cleanse and then a topical anesthetic is applied all over your face. And you sort of lie there for maybe 10, 15 minutes. My face is still a little bit lum now, especially my lips. It feels quite strange talking. Um, and then the treatment started and it only took about 10 or 15 minutes. On my cheeks and sort of the lower parts of my face, I could, couldn't really feel a thing. You're aware of the roller moving, but you don't, it doesn't hurt. Um, some more tender parts in the top of my face, but even then, she warned me they might be a little bit tender. Did those areas nice and fast it was over with before it began. My skin, it's quite red. I probably just look like I've been for a major workout. Um, and it's quite quite warm to the touch. Well, I'm not touching it, but it's quite warm. Um, I feel like I'm very embarrassed, but I've got some Pure Fiji Delo gel, which I'm going to put in the fridge and pop on my face throughout the day if, if I need that. So, yeah, not that scary. This is me after the first treatment. Bye. Hi guys, so this is me. I've just got ready for work today. Um, the first day after my needling treatment. And my skin's fine. Um, I've got light coverage of mineral makeup on. I don't think anyone looking at me would be able to tell what had happened yesterday. Yesterday, my skin did feel hot for the rest of the day. Um, it wasn't unbearable. I applied... Pure Fiji Delo gel that had been in the fridge maybe three or four times um, and then when I went to bed so it was fine. Um, this morning my skin is a little bit red without the makeup but probably not much more than it normally is and it's a little like sandpapery and sort of a little bit tight and rough to the touch but you can't see that my minerals have gone on nice and smooth. And in some spots on my forehead which I don't know if you'll be able to see you can see slight tracking marks where the needles were, but again, that's just me because I know what to look for. So yeah, no downtime. I'm off to work now. I'm excited today. I'm about to go in for my fourth needling treatment at About Face. And I feel like my skin's really starting to respond to the treatment. Um, I've still got makeup on at the moment, so it's hard to tell, but I feel like my scar is less obvious. It's the one on my chin. And my skin overall is quite healthy, not as red when I don't have makeup on, which is exactly what I wanted, so that's great. So I've just got to work and I thought I'd do a quick update. I've just had my final needling treatment, yay! So I finished. Um, my sixth treatment was two days ago, so my skin is still a little bit dry um, because it's going through the, the healing process that it does every week, but pretty good. I've just got a usual amount of mineral makeup on now. Um, I just thought I'd do a quick update. Uh, with the needling, uh, one of the great things is that you see results straight away, but you actually see the best results in about six months' time. So what I've seen, um, and what my therapist has seen, so it's not just me imagining it, is the two things that I was most inter interested in um, changing with my skin is my diffused redness around my sort of nose and chin area. That has gone down so much. My scar on my chin, it hasn't disappeared completely, which I wasn't expecting it to, to be honest, but it's a lot less pitted and indented. It's, it's really reduced as well, so that's awesome. Um, next steps now, I'm doing my aftercare with my great skincare that's been recommended to me. I'm going to use my home rolling kit every second night. Um, I'll start that in a few days once I've healed a bit more. Um, and that just really helps you get maximum results. So you can see the difference already in my skin. And then hopefully we'll see some more in a month's time as well. Bye. It's been a month since I finished my course. My skin is amazing. I'm getting compliments from people about it. Um, the biggest change I've noticed is just overall clarity. My redness around this part of my face has dropped back so much. Um, 
and my scars softening as well although it's showing up in this light um what i've seen is that or what i've noticed is because my skin is less red I'm wearing brighter lipstick because they're not, it's not bringing out the redness in my face. And also on the weekends when I don't have much on, I used to always put just a little bit of minerals on because I wasn't that confident in my skin without makeup. But I've actually stopped doing that. I'm just going completely makeup free apart from some mascara and lip gloss. So that's quite a big deal to me as well. So yeah, everything's going great and I'm really happy with how my skin is looking.